but the animal mm. activists are now turning their sights on milk. They think milk is, is, is not a threatening enough name, not an accurate name. They, they say that in accordance with your focus on consumer protection, the label bovine mammary secretions <laughs> should help the public understand that they are ingesting pus-filled mother's milk from a cow. I mean, uh, come on, Jimmy, drink up your bovine mammary secretions. <laughs> The um, the animal activists have been trying this crap for years. Uh, maybe twenty years ago. You they, mean they... bovine um, bovine <laughs> anal secretions? <laughs> exactly. And uh, a while ago, uh, they tried to change fish the word fish to um, sea kittens, thinking that would scare <laughs> people into not eating delicious little sea kittens anymore. My intake of sea kittens doubled during that period. But the other thing is they they imagine that people are so squeamish as squeamish as they are. I mean, I remember uh, elderly relatives would refer to a particular dessert, like an ice cream with um, raspberry syrup on it, as monkey's blood. And <laughs> it only made them eat it all the more. So yeah, I don't I'm, think any... I'm not sure that <laughs> this is going to work. I don't think anyone's going to be scared by the word bovine or mammary. Or even it's maybe me thirsty, man. I'm getting thirsty. Yeah, yeah. I want some. I'll give me some of that bovine memory gear. Sounds good. <laughs> We've always called it cow's juice in our family anyway. Thanks. Mood juice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Tim. Go out there and chase a cow now.